Hello. Hello and welcome to the Studio 7 podcast with your hosts Joshi Lee and Luciano Donato. Welcome back to the Studio 7 podcast. Today's different, yeah. Um, obviously as most of you are aware there's been this huge corona epidemic that's mm-hmm. sweeping the world. Yeah, turned into a pandemic now I think. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, we thought we'd do um, a sort of update video, I guess, yeah. um, just to, you know, address what's happening, uh, talk about how it's affecting uh, everyone, and in particular, the film and media industry, mm-hmm. um, which obviously we're involved we're in. in. Yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah, just yeah, to... I thought we'd just shed some light on it, really. Yeah. Uh, during this time, there are going to be a lot of companies that are going to thrive from it from more purchases Mm -hmm. and then there are also going to be the smaller companies which are going to well and and even bigger companies Mm. just depend on whatever you are yeah in the film industry yeah yeah it's varying quite a lot so we thought we'd just kind of shed some light on what's exactly going on from our side yeah things that we've personally experienced Mm -hmm. uh, which the podcast is one of them yeah so yeah we're just going to go into detail basically yeah so we won't talk too much about COVID-19 itself or, you know, what it is or what's yeah, happened. I'm sure you've heard enough yeah. in your local supermarkets yeah, and you've got family with, and friends. Yeah. yeah, pop outside and you'll hear people talking about it. Um, so we're going to tackle it from um, more of a focus standpoint, which is the mm. media industry, um, which it has affected in a huge way. Um, probably one of the biggest sectors that have been affected because it relies on um, m- groups of people going out. Um, mm-hmm. to the cinema or choosing to go in um, get a film and sit down and watch it yeah um, and then in a bigger sense also the big sets that um, these productions um, need have crews of you know potentially hundreds yeah, sometimes hundreds thousands. thousands yeah so that's people who are a lot of people are out of Crowds jobs of people yeah mm. yeah so yeah in in our kind of line of work a lot of it is you know we can't there's no, there's no cash for us to pay ourselves for sick leave or no uh, no holiday pay. It doesn't work that way. Don't um, get holidays anyway. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, we thought we'd just kind of shed some light. Mm-hmm. Uh, obviously, starting off with this podcast, um, our our schedule for like the next three months was to uh, review Quiet Place, A Quiet Place Part Two, which was supposed to come out. This week, wasn't it? Or next week? This week. This week. And then yeah. it was Mulan. Yeah. Uh, James Bond. Yeah, No Time uh, to Die. No Time to Die. Uh, yeah, and then it just yeah. kept going so, from there. Yeah, so basically the next two, three months, we kind of had worked out, uh, review-wise anyway. Mm-hmm. We had a nice set of films that were supposed to be coming out in the cinema. Yeah. Um, a couple of them I was really looking forward to as well, like A Quiet Place Part 2. Um, and Antlers. And Antlers, oh yeah, there's mm. a really cool looking uh, horror flick. Uh, thriller horror flick um, that's been pushed back. That was mm-hmm. like one of our highlights of this year, in fact. Yeah. Um, and also, you know, I'm a bit of, um, I've got a soft spot for James Bond, so I was looking forward to that as well. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's kind of white our schedule off the map and we've had to reassess and rethink how we're yeah. going to tackle it now. Well, that's just this as well, though. Like we, we've also experienced it with our film production as well. Mm-hmm. Um we're working on a handful of projects, some that are in the marketing stages and uh, a big one that's in the preparation stages. Yeah. So, you know, through that, we were looking at an uh, international source for, for funding. Mm-hmm. Um, and obviously, because of uh, Corona, that's fell through. Mm-hmm. So that's having to be postponed. And obviously, that was going to be, a, you know, a paycheck for us. Yeah. Uh, as well as we were going to have, we were planning for a premiere um yeah an event night an event night mm-hmm. but again that has to be postponed, postponed any, at least as it is now it's not we're not cancelling it we're trying to postpone it as, yeah. for as long as possible but you know again that's up in the air so i think that's probably the most frustrating part about all of this is everything's not up knowing. in the air. yeah mm-hmm. i mean if it was like okay yeah. we're going to be out of business for a month so you know do what you need to do but you'll be able to start mm-hmm. trading normally again after that cool okay yeah. we can plan for that yeah. With this, it's literally daily. Mm-hmm. We're having to reassess and reschedule, so it's like yeah. morning, seems, morning yeah. meetings and evening meetings. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
And obviously mm. as well, like a lot of our work does rely on teamwork and, and meeting people face to face and clients mm. and whatnot. Um, so obviously, yeah, we can, we can meet, uh, we can do FaceTime and things like that, but it doesn't have the same effect. No. Um, so yeah, there's loads of different areas, which it's kind of just, yeah, shot us in the foot, but we're doing our best to work through it, taking the extra time to, um, you know, um, plan a little more, um, working out contingencies, yeah. um, you know, and obviously with this as well, we're working out a contingency for the podcast. So we thought we'd do this, uh, announcement video just to kind of let you know what's, what's going on. Yeah. And also hopefully give you a chance to get involved as well while we're all suffering from this together. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, before we get onto that, I just want to quickly talk about how it, it has affected the industry. Mm-hmm. Um, so cinemas obviously is a place where lots of people congregate. Um, they're one of the first to um, start taking action. Um, funnily enough, the States were doing this before us. So the end of last week, AMC theatres and uh, the Regal theatre chain um, started first by having um, the amount of people that were allowed in. So it was like um, only 50% capacity. Wow. That was their first move. And then now, as of this week, they've um, closed them completely. So no cinemas. And then that's mm-hmm. obviously extended from today over to the UK as well. So uh, I've just seen that Odeon and Cineworld have closed indefinitely from today. I'm not sure if that's all of them, but um, as far as well, I'm yeah, aware... Yeah, we were checking yeah. Uh, the screenings and stuff. Yeah. So yeah. So it probably think... is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, no cinema for the foreseeable future. Um, and obviously because of that, that means that there's loads of releases that are being postponed and delayed mm-hmm. um, because there's nowhere to show them. Indefinitely again, as Indefinitely. well as some of them. Indefinitely, yeah. So the releases, uh, some of the ones we've already mentioned, there was A Quiet Place Part 2, um, it's delayed to be confirmed. Mm-hmm. Antlers is delayed to be confirmed. Mm-hmm. Mulan is delayed to be confirmed. No Time to Die, the new James Bond, is delayed. Um, the provisional date is November. November yeah. That could change as well. New Mutants, um, the last Fox X-Men film, um, <laughs> yeah. which is... Uh, released under the yeah, it's all messy. Um, that would be that would be an interesting video actually. To, just mm. to talk about the timeline of that film, yeah. it's mad. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm actually looking forward to it. Yeah, it, same. So, I've, um, I've been looking forward to it for the past three, four years or whatever the bloody yeah. hell it is. Yeah. yeah, I've been on and off. I think I just got fed up, but now it's back on. I'm like but every time it like pops its head back up, I'm like, oh, finally, oh, oh. Yeah. and then it and then it goes under again. Now yeah. it's a, finally you know Disney are about to after their purchase of Fox, they go to give it the light it deserves, and then. Mm. And then this happens. And then this happens. It's yeah. like that. You can't catch film. a break, no. that director. No. Is it Josh Boone? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think so, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, and then the biggest one that we just found out today is Black Widow. Mm-hmm. So, the the next Marvel movie, the first one since uh, Far From Home Spider-Man, mm-hmm. uh, has been delayed. Yeah. Uh, and that's to be Crazy. confirmed. There's no new release date attached. Mm-hmm. So, they're the huge releases so far that have been postponed and delayed. And if this carries on, expect it to be more more um yeah yeah so um and then also just quickly there's a load of productions of films um that you might not have known that are currently being worked on that are being postponed so just to throw a few out um for universal there was the new jurassic park film jurassic park dominion Mm -hmm. Uh, paramount mission impossible 7 has been delayed till late february next year Um, that's mad yeah yeah, Walt Disney, um, they've got loads on, as you can imagine. Mm-hmm. So you've got the Marvel's uh, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, which has already been reported to have lost over £300,000 in delays. Uh, the Little Mermaid, um, which is obviously a live-action remake of the um, the animation. The Last mm-hmm. Jewel, which is a Ridley Scott's new film. Nightmare Alley, I'm not sure what that is, but that's been postponed. Um, Peter Pan and Wendy. Nightmare Alley, isn't that Guillermo del Toro? Yes. Is it? I'm not sure what capacity, though. He might just be producing it. Yeah. I remember seeing his name. I swear, yeah. Yeah. It might be something else. But yeah, I'll, I'll double I'm check. Sure. Um, Peter Pan and Wendy. Peter Pan and Wendy. Um, I think that's another Disney one. Mm. Um, is this one with Whacking Phoenix attached? I have no idea. Yeah. All I know is that they're doing it. Everything's up in the air at the moment. We can't even give you some of the answers. <laughs> um, lastly, um, some Netflix, Disney TV, and Warner Bros. Warner Bros. TV productions that are halted at the moment is... Marvel's Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Oh, filming? Uh, no, they've been halted. They were filming, but they're halted now. Oh, damn. So 
So we're not even going to get Falcon and Winter Soldier on the Disney Plus. Possibly. Um, Supergirl, um, The Flash, Batwoman, mm-hmm. Lucer, Lucifer, Pennyworth, Stranger Things. Um, Supernatural, which is literally on the verge of its series fin- finale as well, mm-hmm. that's going to be postponed. Um, that's going for Supernatural fans. Yeah, and then also we had word of The Witcher, season two is mm-hmm. being halted. Yeah, Lord of the Rings, which is being remade on Amazon Prime for anyone who didn't know, is being halted. And that's just a, that's a TV series though, right? The Lord of the Rings, of the Rings Prime. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then a few films that have just been announced today that have been halted as well is Fantastic Beasts 3, The Matrix 4, and the Uncharted movie, which had finally just got the green light to go ahead. And now what, that's been suspended for six I'm weeks. I'm not too disappointed about that one. I'm I got not some, either. I got some feelings about that film. Me too. But I know there's a lot of fans out there who are sort of dying for it. And Oh, I, I, I kind wanna, of. I want to see the film 100%. Mm. It's just, I feel like. Not this version. No. <laughs> no, no. So yeah, so sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but um, yeah, those are all... <laughs> like the... you're not getting it every day anyway. Yeah, these are all the films that have been um, yeah. delayed and the productions that are halted at the moment. Mm-hmm. So, you know, if you were a fan, uh, hold tight, hopefully things will turn around. Mm-hmm. There is a bright side to this, mm-hmm. and this is to do with uh, VOD releases. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this is really interesting actually. Yeah. Because this could be uh, a, a game, game changer. changer. Yeah. yeah, so I'll let you talk about that, but just quickly um, to give a background, um, Disney Plus is being released. Is it three months early? Is it that? Oh no, it's still the same. It's still the same release date. Yeah, it's um, March twenty sixth. So in like ten days, nine days. Okay. I think that's stayed the same. Okay, so yeah, I got that wrong. But Disney Plus is coming out soon, mm. so that it may luckily... be it may be other countries where it's they might be bringing it out a little bit quicker. Right. Because I know that it's like regional. Yeah. Like obviously in America Staggered, it's been out it? for like the past since November or something. Ridiculous, yeah. I don't know why. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Uh, and like they've seen everyone in the world. I mean, there's probably like Americans watching this. Hello. Yeah. Who have probably <laughs> seen, who have probably already seen like the Mandalorian and whatnot. We yeah. haven't. We haven't no. been able to. But we've all been spoiled most of it. Unfortunately, yeah, exactly. Like, which you is know. crazy. Um, like, yeah, I no, would that's... have loved to have discovered yeah. baby yoda yeah definitely in you know in real time yeah so yeah that's that's coming out for us in the uk and on the uh i'm pretty sure it's 26th of march yeah, yeah. soon uh, so anyway that's um that's a bit of a silver lining because if this does carry on which it probably will for the next couple of weeks anyway mm-hmm. uh, we'll have that to look forward to longer yeah. um but which is a bit more interesting films like the invisible man um the hunt emma Birds of Prey and The Gentleman, which have not long sort of just been released. Yeah, we literally just in cinema reviewed The Invisible Man. Yeah. yeah, came out like what was it a week ago, two weeks ago, two weeks ago, and yeah, it's now going. It's going to be available on video on demand. Yeah, um, see, I this from what we were saying about it being a game changer. If if the industry realise that they can make the same amount of money, um, with in home VOD. Yeah, they will just stick to in-home VOD. Yeah. They will not bother with losing an extra twenty to forty percent on ticket sales with cinema chains. Mm-hmm. They will just distribute it themselves. Cut out the middleman. And with every, with most mm-hmm. of these big studios and production companies now having their own streaming services, and and their uh, partnering or host companies having streaming services, mm. it does seem like we could actually be seeing the end of cinema. Mm. Like, 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 legit. Not just the, yeah. um, you know, the Martin Scorsese version, which is superheroes taken over. No, no it's no, like, no. like cinemas could not exist anymore. Yeah. Um, um, like as as Louis just said, like, um, chains are closing. Uh, yeah, they're only just shutting down now for safety. But you got to think these are businesses. They yeah. they have employees which they pay. They have. Um, you know, overheads, overheads all mm-hmm. this kind of stuff. As soon as you sure. miss out even a day, you start going under and behind. Yeah. They're asking them to close for realistically like Oof. 30 days or more. Yeah. Um, the business, realistically, these businesses are going under. There's, there's no other mm. way that... Well, one of the things I read the other day was that Cineworld is actually almost perpetually in debt. Mm-hmm. Um, they're not actually running a huge profit. And obviously that's because the leases that it 
um, the leases cost a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Just to get the films. Um, yeah, a lot of these. A lot. Com- and yeah, a lot, not of the- a lot of people go in anyway yeah. to cinemas as they were before. And yeah. then now with this, it's like dropped off completely. Yeah. There's a lot of negativity uh, at the moment in the industry. And obviously, as we were saying earlier, we do this full time. This is how we, you know, uh, sustain ourselves. Make a living. We make a living. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so. You know, if you can, we do have films up on Prime at the moment. Mm-hmm. You know, if you're isolated at home or with your family in an evening or whatever, maybe not check it on with the kids. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, just chill out, yeah. have have a have a decent evening on us. Yeah. Uh, you know, um, they're no longer than fifteen minutes. Yeah, we got four of them up there, so you know that's a that's a decent hour out yeah. of your evening. And they're all got slightly different. Um... Themes, themes genres genres yeah yeah so um see so yeah, at the moment we're, we're trying to get a few more up there but uh it all depends because as we said everything's up in the air at the moment so there's no guarantee that we can get anything else up there now uh, yeah. as everything's kind of closing down but we're doing our best um yeah. so a lot of the businesses and um uh, sites that we work through are obviously emailing us telling us to expect delays and stuff as well so mm-hmm. it really is having such a huge knock-on effect yeah um but yeah but going back to the prime stuff um if you have amazon prime an account then you can watch all of these for free mm-hmm. um if not they're only what like 199 something like that yeah yeah i think um, i think the max is around three pounds yeah so a couple of quid you know yeah. if we were to make jokes that's like uh you know same price as bog roll <laughs> yeah i'm sure everybody's got <laughs> enough of that now like yeah you know um um yeah so yeah uh watch them uh we'll put links down below so we got watched mm-hmm. um that was the latest release yeah, yeah. sunset hill uh nicotine and parasites yeah uh so yeah please check them out yeah let's all um <laughs> stick together through this i think that's the main thing is although we're all being isolated and separated is we should all be together in spirit mm-hmm. um and support each other and you know Look out for each other. Yeah, definitely. And help each other out. So, yeah, we're giving you um, some cool little short films <laughs> to uh, take your mind off of all the, the sad in, sadness in the news. Yeah. Yeah, and then hopefully some older reviews coming out in the next few weeks as well. Mm-hmm. And obviously all of this is subject to change because we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Mm-hmm. So uh, do bear with us. Um, we might not be as, you know, focused and organised as we usually are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Stay safe, everyone. Stay safe. Cool. Love you and leave you. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.